Bosco Klam and Simon Ochola are former Gorilla fighters of the Lord's Resistance Army. They were brought back home yesterday from the Central African Republic after surrendering to the UN officials a couple of months ago. They are now in custody of Amnesty Commission, waiting to be integrated into their communities. 45-year-old Bosco Kilama was abducted by the LRA rebels when he was 21 years old. I asked him about the character of his former leader, Joseph Coin. He doesn't want somebody to advise him. Kilama says Coin spent most of his time in Darfur region in western Sudan. The former fighter told NTV that Coin has killed most of his commanders, especially those who tried to push for amnesty. One of the commanders reported to have fallen victim of Konya's brutal ways was his deputy, Vincent Oti. Oti gave him some advices, but he was taking those advices if Oti wanted to escape and come back home. Asked Kilama whether Kony carried out the executions himself. He just ordered someone that you go and kill this person. Kilama says that he was also on the list of those to be killed but survived after Konya had a change of heart. He was at the rank of a colonel in the LRA. After seeing that they are killing very many people and others are becoming scared, we were left only four. But what motivates the LRA rebels who were flushed out of Uganda over 10 years ago? Now, if, if you go to him to ask him why are we fighting and for what reason, there he says that you are coming, becoming part of the, the UPDF, he had to kill you. The American soldiers and the UPDF failed to capture coin, largely because the leader keeps changing location. We also asked him the source of the guns and other supplies to the rebel outfit. Ah. He was getting help from Northern Sudan. Eh? Well, for us, we just wait. What did it come? We just utilize it. What did it come? We use it. Kilama says although Konya is known as a fearless gorilla leader, he is frightened of the sound of helicopters hovering in the sky. One day, airplanes are passing over all the time, round, round. Because even eating becomes hard for him. There have been reports that Kony uses supernatural powers during battle. I asked Kilam about that, and he burst into laughter. <laughs> Amnesty Commission will integrate the two fighters into communities next week. In the resettlement package, we give them uh, home items, things like blankets, things like saucepans, things like plates, just for them to start off a living and with some small cash. You're putting their lives at risk, especially knowing that the communities where you want to integrate them, they could be having a bad attitude towards them, including even those who are their relatives. If we took them and they are on their own, that would be a very more difficult situation to reintegrate. It is alleged that some of the people who attacked Gulu police barracks last year were former LRA rebels who were given amnesty by government. Critics are saying that not only government should help these ones integrate into the community, but rather give them something sustainable that they can do and earn a living. Sidi Yarhanga, NTV.